This water has come straight out of the Toyota Mirai and it's clean enough to drink. This second generation Mirai is essentially worlds apart from the first. The first was a great car. This one is newer and improved and essentially more efficient than the previous version. The fuel cell stack itself has a, a higher energy density, so it actually is more efficient, but it's in a smaller, a smaller state. Under the bonnet here, we have a fuel cell, which takes hydrogen from the onboard tanks, mixes it with oxygen from the atmosphere, and basically there's a chemical reaction that makes electricity. That electricity is used to drive the wheels um, at the rear of the car in this case. The drivetrain's changed completely, so the previous generation one was front wheel drive, this one's rear wheel drive, which dramatically affects the handling, uh, the ability to make it fun to drive, and also to, uh, to make it a, a smoother drive as well. This particular car behind me is able to refuel in three to five minutes, uh, giving a range of around uh, 650 kilometres. The only emission out of a fuel cell vehicle, including the second generation Mirai, is water. So no CO2, no NOx, no poisonous gases, no, no nothing, except for water vapour. All of the low and zero emission vehicles that Toyota's manufacturing and, and making available, including the Mirai behind us, contribute to achievement of that first challenge in the 2050 goal. That's to reduce emissions from, from our vehicles by 100% in 2050. So by 2050, all of our vehicles will be zero emissions. It all ties back to that particular challenge. That's where this centre uh, can create a, um, an impact and actually contribute to those zero emissions. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.